<laughs> one thing that no one beats Max Pax in is Phoenix versus Phoenix, basically. Uh, people can contest him in one gateway expand versus one gateway expand, it happens. We even have some like clever low ground but two gateway plays against him uh, that can work. And obviously any amount of all ins can still work, even though he's quite good against them. But there's one thing that I feel like I've never seen Max Pax lose, and that is Phoenix versus Phoenix, unless something terrible has already happened. And even then, I recall a time where he lost probes in his first Phoenix and he still ended up winning the damn game, which is usually a death sentence in Phoenix versus Phoenix. You just lose one and you're over, you're done. But seriously, like th this is actually, I feel like, the worst case scenario for Showtime. I don't know if something different happened recently between the two and which Showtime now feels like this is a good uh, opportunity for him. Now, even though there's, it's very hard to determine a clear winner with Phoenix, especially if they are properly bunched <laughs> up, again, usually what happens is that Max Pack still takes the better micro fight. And it's whether or not you really have a superior number that can maybe win you uh, the battle. But it's Fleet Beacons for both as they both remain in line with each other's Phoenix count. Obviously, defense advantage could, get, could kick in. Half a Phoenix difference could be all that it takes, but that <laughs> not letting your opponent transfer any probes potentially as well. That is so, I, I love that so much. Again, Phoenix don't kill structures and the only thing you want to make is Phoenixes. That being said, Third base is faster for Showtime. He was slightly faster than Annie and Pulse Crystals. And he was actually, that was powered, of course, because his fourth gas was just slightly faster. And he is grabbing a mothership about as fast as he possibly can. So that's pretty weird. Yeah, I was going to ask how you feel about this. Showtime's timings in general are faster. He is getting that quicker third Stargate. His Annie and Pulse Crystals were faster. His third base was faster. Quicker gas on that third. And the mothership has been changed a lot here. It's no longer permanent cloaking. You have to turn it on for 20 seconds. It's not quite as mm. tanky, but it's much cheaper. And Showtime, apparently this is how you play now. Yeah, to be honest, I kind of figured out about that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, the mothership is different, very different. Is that why they're doing it? Or is this something that they were developing having played more and more Phoenix versus Phoenix games? Couldn't tell you, but... It's the way we're going. Uh, I'm a little more surprised that we had such a huge delay on upgrades. <laughs> and now we see in Showtime grabbing that plus one flyer a little bit faster than Max Pax's. The Max Pax going into a lot more Stargates, now adding on some Robos, I suppose. And well, this is... This is one heck of a PvP, isn't it? This is this great. Is, but as the upgrades start to get better, and as the we start to approach Max here, it tends to be very powerful, and this is not a fight Max Pax wants to take, not with the Interceptors out like that, but he does trigger well, invisibility. Yeah. He's going to take it. I mean, his Observer finally appeared, which obviously was not necessary, but I guess it got killed. Oh, what is even happening anymore? I, I guess the full evacuation is what necessary. Did they both lose the Observers? Wait, this is going to be so hard to track. No, Showtime still has this. <laughs> Good. Uh, you know what? what? I felt like the the mothership being smaller was supposed to... I don't know why I thought it was supposed to help the visibility. I feel like it's hurting it quite a bit. I mean, it's fun the watching clarity. battles, you know? It, it's got that acceleration bonus. It, it does actually track the Phoenix a little bit better. It does. It also hides... I mean, obviously when it's bigger, it hides them even better, but I just there's something about it being smaller that's actually messing with my brain. The point is, whoever moves first is in the disadvantageous position. No, like, you just you just don't do anything. Yeah, I I love, by the way, that Max Pax, he's got this zealot on the ground just with his arm. He's like, no, no, I got to kill probes, man. Pro I can't have an economy, but I, I'm going to keep this zealot, this two supply. Okay, never mind. But he was no. keeping it alive for a little bit, and that is something. <laughs> um, I, I guess there's a timing. Showtime's upgrades are better as he hit 3-3 three, three eventually in the air. 3-3-3. Um, three, three, three. Okay. But like, is is three 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 and three more carriers better, or is uh, sixteen more Phoenix better? I, I think we're so. at the point where Phoenix <laughs> matter a whole lot less. Carriers I think are so. just so much damage. Yeah, Max Pack's finally starting to kill some. By the way, as soon as I said it. <laughs> now, what, what is interesting here, and I guess Showtime is just slowly replacing. What I think is really interesting is that he's not, we're not seeing all the Phoenix die at once. It's like one here or two there. It's like almost like there's some number of Phoenix that you still want in the game. But slowly, as upgrades get better and as we take the map, apparently that's no longer true. So, very few Phoenix on the map. Is that a timing, actually? It's going to be 16, oh. 20 carriers. Showtime is going to have <laughs> a much more expensive army, one would assume. And Max Max is still going to have about 20 Phoenix. Uh, is, is that when Showtime <laughs> does something? 
I don't know. I actually have no idea. I feel like Max, well, because Max Pax was later to the carrier thing, mm -hmm. so he has to kill his Phoenix later, so he doesn't just like have missing 20 supply, right? But it, it does feel like a real stall out here for Max Pax that he looks almost too comfortable with, but I assume is actually not correct. You know what I mean? Like, it was like, oh, this is the army that you want, really? And it's like, no, I just have to wait so long to actually get the army that I want. But you like, Max Pax should probably be very uncomfortable. He's finally getting to the army that he also wants, and Showtime's not going to strike, I suppose, when the iron is hottest, or, well, well maybe, well, maybe. Wait, he's... hey, 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 we're moving past the halfway point. There Woo! we go. He's got his upgrades timing out. He's got arguably the better army, but ZG, this is such a rare situation where I think this is the better army. Quite honestly, I'm also willing to trust Max Pax. I'm not totally sure. <laughs> that being said, <laughs> we're just going to have to see here. Showtime inching. <laughs> So slowly across the map. He's gonna do something though. I, I promise. There we go. Dude, there's no way Max Pack should take this fight. He doesn't know it, but he is so outmatched. He's down two upgrades, and he had so many Phoenix that it's were useless. Oh my god, he took the fight. <laughs> I. This is game one. Showtime's gonna take it. Showtime goes yes, up 1 0. Uh, Zombie Grump, you said at the start of this game that Showtime is dead. No one beats Max Pax in Phoenix Wars. <laughs> well, and he's not. He's taken the gold yeah. base. Very different play. Yeah. Well, Max Pax, I think, immediately saw the, le the lack of second gateway, even though it's a high ground gateway. And it was just like immediately, it was just like, okay, let's equilibrium. There's a gold base. Let's see if he took it. But a zealot runs across the map. It's not going to get anything. There's an adept here. You say there's no good way to punish, and you're right for now. But if Max Pax goes and he gets a depths across the map, ideally he would get a Stargate, not going for that this game. Instead, he's building, he's doing to Showtime what Showtime generally does to him, right? Or other Protoss players. Yeah. Heavy aggression, proxy gateways, whole nine yards. And I do like this. Showtime perhaps banking too much on the idea that Max Pax will just take a one gateway expand uh, opportunity at face value. And just be like, oh, okay, whatever. I'll make up for the gold base some other time. No, Max Pax absolutely willing to turn the aggression on. Two gateways at the front, which Showtime technically could have scouted. If he had a probe on the side of the map where the Adept obviously was able to do something else besides defend, which... It didn't even do that. Uh, then it could actually scout at least two gateways, which is already an eyebrow arch. It's already like a, hey, what, what is going on here? But now, doesn't know about that, doesn't know about the proxy gateway, and Max Pax has been killing probes in the main base this entire time. This feels like a disaster for Showtime. I think he might just be dead, is, is the story here. Losing five probes, everything scouted out, and now they're this gold base is totally gone there's nothing to defend it phoenix don't handle 5 7 12 15 stalkers all that well showtime a second stargate I, cool i don't think he gets there zg i think this is maybe just a little no. bit too greedy no it, it is too too greedy if max Pax hadn't scouted it immediately that might have been the ticket you know maybe there was something in between scouting it and not scouting it at all which is that he scouts it with his adepts right uh and, and then there's the key question here is what is your preferred concert excuse me conversation topic for like the next 10 minutes or so because yeah we all know it's two stargate phoenix no one wants to attack i mean max pax with his superior position and a little bit of a reminder i suppose as to how this game is quote unquote supposed to go thanks to his game one loss you gotta imagine he wins this one I mean, maybe, and he is posturing a little bit aggressively here. Takes the first shot, but they're going to trade out for the moment. Venus count, it's all tied up here, but you got to back away. Showtime runs back into a shield battery, and that's going to be really bad for Max Pax. The thing, though, and I, I think this is the big thing to point out here, it's four Stargates to three. Showtime is not transitioning into carriers yet. That's the thing that kind of makes this okay. And Max Pax is just slowly going to build a Phoenix lead. In fact, he's already built one. Oh. Yeah, uh, game, game three. Or game four, excuse me, Max Pax. That's a pretty solid trade for him. Safe. But he is winning. No doubt about that. And hopefully the Phoenix battles are encouraging him. He's got a little bit of that bloodlust as he once again dives in. He didn't actually have that much of an advantage, but he nonetheless is winning the war. You know, the big thing there, it looks like Showtime was trying to bait out with the Oracle, bait a volley of shots, and that might have been cool, but we don't have any shield batteries. So there's really nothing. To, I mean, there's a shield battery to recruit back to now, but at this point, there's the extra Stargate Max Pax is... I, I, I keep thinking he's, he's going to show dominance, what? but defender's advantage. Actually, Showtime with the yeah. shield battery. 
Max Pack's yeah. overstepped here. Absolutely. The shield battery is a factor, but then in general, I believe Showtime's Phoenix were healthier. Mm -hmm. So Max Pax is actually diving in there with very battered and bruised Phoenix. And if it was advantage kicking in Showtime with even just a half second faster Phoenix reinforcing, uh, that, that makes a difference in those types of battles. But, you know, in a, in a rare <laughs> circumstance of this type of game, a Phoenix battle, does that lead to the end of the game? We're apparently going to have a second one where it's now Showtime's time to push too far, too heavy, and get pushed back for it. And oh, look, you know, it did basically lead to the game. GG! So, why do you do this to us is my question. <laughs> You know, ZG, I, I think actually there is some logic here in going Phoenix versus going Oracle, and it very much is in line with you You steal your opponent's gas, you have enough time to get an Oracle out and still match the Phoenix battle. If you don't, well, mm. you just got to go Phoenix because everyone's going to have the same eco, that type of thing. I, and I'm actually just really shocked about it also, you know, this, <laughs> opinions of the actual game aside. Showtime, when he won the first game, I was, you know, yeah, okay, I guess it could absolutely happen again because Max Pax is more prone to going for it as a, as a general person, I suppose. Then Showtime, I didn't think of him as a Phoenix player, but if it worked, then he'd do it again. But he finally lost a game in the same manner, the same beginnings, I suppose. He didn't get to the Mass Carrier stage. And uh, he still is, is not, you know, deterred from trying it out again, which I'm going to I'm going to assume perhaps a wrong assumption that Showtime has basically figured out this is the best way to play against Max Packs. Now, the interesting thing here, I think in game one, Showtime did such a, all of his timings were faster. His fleet beacon was faster. His third base was faster. He identified the type of game just a, or how greedy he could be just a little bit faster. And that is not the case in this game. In fact, Max Pax, he's much faster to the mothership. That being said, ZG, that's a lot of gas to spend on something. And Showtime has a three Phoenix lead. And that's enough to just give him pole position over the setup. He's got to be careful. He doesn't want to go and get caught when lifted, not get the first shot off, but he's able to get damage mm -hmm. done. This is six dead probes, and now he's going to opt into it. Let's take a look at the count here. 20 versus 19. Defender's advantage is still strong. And it's yeah. not a three Phoenix lead anymore. It's just one, it's just two. But knocking these probes down, that's non-zero damage. You know, th I think this might be the timing, actually. There are no oh cannons on the map. The Robo's just now done. Showtime's got to give this position up. Mm -hmm. I think the big deal here, he sees what's happening. He sees the mothership. So pull your probes away, run away, wait for your mothership, which is also very <laughs> close to getting out. In fact, oh my God, this oh my might God. turn the other way around here. Already trades before the mothership arrives. 26 to 24. The mothership's going to be done soon, and there's detection. <laughs> it doesn't matter, ZG. <laughs> the mothership, though, it is soaking a lot of damage for Showtime. Finds the shield battery overcharge. And, I mean, Max Max takes the Phoenix lead. Okay. Wait, and now, and now Max Max doesn't have an observer. <laughs> what is this? This is the dumbest innovation in <laughs> PvP. This is what the patch has given us. Oh, truly the end times. Cloak timings. Oh my God. And they both, you know, what's even worse is that no one won off of them. You know? You know what? That's actually the worst thing. I honestly thought that that was going to be the biggest. Oh, mothership. Mothership. It's going to be okay. I really thought that was going to be the biggest anti-timing I've ever seen, right? Because the Observer pops right in time, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mothership shows up, Showtime has all the cloaking, Max Pax won't, that feels real, it feels like it should be really good. Instead, he loses two Phoenix more, the game resets, his Phoenix lead is done. We have a fourth Stargate on the way, it's a little show, excuse me, a little slower for Showtime, more upgrades. And actually, you know what, that's the big deal, Max Pax hit with plus one, Showtime didn't have it. That explains everything about where you know where you want to go and so he's getting there about the same time as his opponent but he's got that upgrade still and so this fight might be unwise for showtime or I mean, it might be totally fine no it's great he targeted the, he targeted the observer i think so there was a decent amount of time oh. when he could not be seen and uh, max Pax absolutely could so we look at the end of that fight battle report is fantastic one mothership actually it's counting the last two minutes and 50 seconds so 25 phoenix to 22 a mothership down, Observers fall. It honestly, it, it's starting to trade out just a little bit worse for Showtime in terms of the Phoenix down. Actually, Max Pax has lost more, but most of those are, they're pylons. They're, they're mineral units. And we talked about this before. Minerals matter much less in this matchup than pretty much any other. Time the cannon up in the middle. There we go. Not even meaning. It's actually probably a good idea. 
something that they might start to combat over. Or at least some shield batteries, you know, to, to give yourself... You gotta pull a classic. Put a, put a Nexus in the middle of the map. Yeah. Build shield batteries, <laughs> overcharge them. This is the play. I think it is, honestly. If Max Packs can hold this high ground position, time to put that Nexus down. Honestly. Ay, yeah, yeah. Upgrades currently better for Showtime. He's got 1-1-1 one, one, one versus 1. Max Packs is plus 2 might be finishing up, but he'd still be outmatched. I'm trying to pay attention to upgrades, interceptors being out or not, Phoenix count, and cloak field with observers. And I got to tell you, it's not an experience I'm used to. I think the other thing to point out here is that Max Pax is he hasn't started to kill his probes yet. He's on 97. Matt Showtime's on 84. Showtime will have the bigger max out. And it it seems to me, and again, this is not, a, yeah, I'm, you're right, this is not a scenario I'm used to, but it seems to me that Showtime's going to max out roughly around the same time where he goes up to 222. And that he's going to have this timing then where he has better air upgrades. He's got more of an army. And this, again, might be one of those scenarios where Showtime, yeah, the mid-game max specs is really strong. But as we move mm -hmm. into these crazy late games, it seems like Showtime might have a slightly better understanding of when to build, how to build, what to build, why to build, the five W's, mm -hmm. I guess, <laughs> of good reporting <laughs> and, and PvP. Maybe. It, it's, I mean, I'm... I feel like people will sometimes take the whole, like, you know, max packs might not be the most naturally talented thing, you know, very wrong and be like, well, he's not talented. I can't believe he would say that. But to me, talent's always just like how quickly you learn something. So you could be a great master at age 100 and some of the people who are great masters at age 20. Anyway, but Max Pax really throughout his career seems to have done things that are subpar, but he believes in them. And then he does it so often that you get to a point where you're like, this can't possibly work. Stop doing it. Why are you pushing this issue? And then it does work. And it's because he just practices so freaking much. What is this? What is <laughs> that's, this? That's so good for Showtime. He gets the recall first. So oh the, my the God. carriers are just stuck in recall form. And Showtime, what a play there. He sees what's happening. He identifies it. Motherships are dead. There's not enough detection. And Showtime just dumpsters this. This was so... I can't. <laughs> okay. That, that was so smart. That was some freaking alien versus alien coolness that I just can't take seriously because this is matchup, man. That would actually have been so dope if it wasn't so one-sided. I mean, it, and was, it was completely one-sided. It was so dope from the Showtime side. And now look at the interceptor count, 69 to 11. Yeah, the carrier count's okay for max packs, but Showtime actually has a carrier army that fights. And this was that max out 2-2 two -two timing we were talking about. I don't know that, I don't know how max packs is supposed to be fight to be totally honest. Oh, he's he's dead. He's 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 dead. I mean, 18 Phoenix. I don't think they're gonna win this game. Yeah. It'd be funny if they did, though. Shield about overcharge hype. But anyway, I feel like Max Pax really is at a stage where this happens so infrequently, and especially with a new patch changing things with the mothership, that he actually hasn't played it enough. You know, he's definitely a smart guy, and he does have a lot of talent. But I feel like actually, unlike a Bly that feels like he's able to do anything at any time, everywhere, all at once. Max Pax, despite him playing an odd style, oftentimes plays the same. He loves his four gate in PvT, only reason to move to three gate. He loves his low ground expansion in PvP and constantly has to battle with people trying to uh, counter him. It's odd, but he does it a lot and he practices it a lot. But getting to this type of stage, this type of late game PvP, really difficult to do honed in practice on it. And I think it's what Max Pax is going to need if this is actually going to become the meta. Just more reps, basically, and then I think he'll master it. But right now, for this best of five, whenever Showtime gets past that Phoenix stage, he looks stronger. And now we, we really have to, I mean, when was the last time we saw a Phoenix face trade? <laughs> because this is just, uh, hmm. Max Pax is on the biggest Protoss cope right now that I've ever seen. And you know what? The recall on the mothership. I, I don't know why he didn't recall with, I guess, no, that was the Nexus recall, okay. Uh, we're gonna have cloaking go down. Is there a detection for Showtime? There is. Uh, this is not gonna work out, Max Pax. Nice try. But the biggest Protoss Cope Zombie Grub that I have ever seen. <laughs> like, he's oh. trying. Power to him, but uh, 136 to 70. That's all, all I need to say. Yeah, GG. GG. Are you strapping in? We have Stargates again. As I said, not this case. It's actually directly into those fleet beacons. <clears throat> fleet to... Beacon going to lead to the Phoenix range. And I guess... 
my cutoff for when max packs is the phoenix master is probably up to that phoenix range actually i, I thought max packs was gonna bait that stalker uh, this idea of wasting st shots on the stalker having one phoenix lifting a unit so not able to fight and then you dive in and, and maybe you make something happen but still a little bit too scary so max packs hey timings are looking better every time we've seen him go into this phoenix play he started to realize what i think what showtime wants to do and how greedy he wants to be to get there so his third base is a solid 30 40 percent faster that's yeah. actually pretty significant oh for sure it's actually a little surprising max pax is showing more confidence more taking the lead in, in every game that we see but then still finding not success basically the longer the game goes because yeah in the last game it was that one decision that he obviously regretted as soon as he did it i think because that's when he saw the militia of his opponent <laughs> he's like oh that was faster whoops a daisy but it also was all those upgrades i mean showtime has been able to get himself into a position where he's triple upgrading and max pax has uh maybe he got there at the last second but he, he's almost always late to it showtime actually feeling quite feisty this is really confident it's so hard to tell if you actually have the advantage but showtime actually does and max Pax takes the fight without any support whatsoever i think he only just realized he wasn't gonna win it i think showtime was trying to do that on any impulse crystals his was slightly faster and now look at what he's doing he's forcing the fight he's camping the stargate here and he's gonna depower the stargate if that's this it that's gonna do it, actually. Look at this oh. lead. Showtime. My man. And he does it in the actual Phoenix battle.